Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Welcome to 2023. I hope everybody has a healthy and prosperous new year. Let's go ahead and get it going. Today I just wanted to talk about the very first fragrance that I purchased for this year and that's from the house of Stephane Humbert Lucas. This one, I already own Uma and so the only other fragrance, there were three actually, and the Oud one seems to be one that you aren't able to find. Uh, luckily, some of my buddies have it, but I haven't smelled it. But the one that I picked up is not a blind buy. I did smell it when it first got to Kuwait, and this one is called O'Hara. All right, so just show you a little bit of the presentation. Comes with, uh, with the sleeve, of course, and then you have the box inside. This one, it fits snugly into here. This is, of course, a fingerprint magnet. I don't know if I can get any of it off. Let's see. But here's some of the presentation. All right. So they all come in 50 ml sizes. Here it is outside of the box. Has the 777 on the side with the juice. So a pretty dark juice. I was happy to find this one for, for a decent price. Uh, it was lower than the retail price. It did retail for 400 euros. I'm not sure what that is in American dollars, if the euro is one to one or if it's worth a little bit more than an American dollar. But I know that Lucky Sin had it for 495. So I got it for significantly less than that. I got it up. This is my first purchase from eBay. I do sell some of my fragrances that I have available on eBay, but I had never purchased from eBay. And so this is my very first purchase off of eBay. So a little bit about this. Again, this is from the perfumer Stephane Humbert Lucas, the 777 collection. This is a amber fragrance. It's quoted on the website as being the Hulk of Amber. Uh, here, uh, the note from the site says, O'Hara invokes the story of the Prophet Muhammad seeking uh, refuge in a cave upon Mount Hira, uh, and that is located in Mecca. So here, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to represent fossilized amber. And so, as we know, amber is an accord. It's a, a fantasy note. It's an amber actually, for what they say, it can be distracted, extracted. So this is supposed to represent fossilized amber. Uh, the notes on it are amber, leather, styrax, cinnamon, tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. Now, what I get from, from O'Hara, to me, it is a very strong and potent spicy amber scent very much reminiscent of um amber absolute um ombre orient which i will talk about in another video so it's this it's that spicy amber scent if you're familiar with any of those fragrances then this is not too far it's in the same wheelhouse as those it's not too much different than them it may be a little bit stronger and also a little bit sweeter uh, especially in the dry down uh, the majority of the scent is uh, labdanum, and labdanum is a resin um, from the, the labdanum cystis plant. So that's what makes up the majority of it. But then the backbone of it is the sweetness from the vanilla and also the tonka bean. There is a slight cinnamony smell. So this and is where you get the reminiscent aspects of it from Ombre Sultan and also Amber Absolute. To me, this isn't uh, too much different than those. So if you already have those in a sense, unless you really are in love with ambers and you love that scent profile of the spicy amber, this one would be kind of redundant for you to have. It's not too much different. Uh, there are only a couple of reviews on it on YouTube. One of them praised it. Even when you look at the reviews, people absolutely love it. It may be of a slightly better quality than at least the, the version of uh, Amber Absolute that I had. I've since sold it. I do love this scent. I do like it a lot. But if you're familiar with that Amber profile, it's not something that you would want to run out and blind buy, of course. If you can get samples, definitely check it out to see how much you might like it if it isn't <laughs> completely redundant in your collection but to me i think that it would be i do only have one other uh, 
fragrance that's similar to it and that's ombre orient and i'll talk about that a little bit later so i'll have a chance to at least smell them side by side before i talk about it that's pretty much it this is my my thoughts on o'hara from stephane humbert lucas i am excited to have it in my collection i don't have a whole bunch of ambers i did try the perfume aroma uh, Ambra scent, the Amber scent that they have, which is very similar to Amber Absolute as well. I would not pick that up. That one's great too. I wouldn't pick that up again because I have this one. Now, with, with sweet ambery scents, those sweet syrupy ones, those seem to have a little bit more different types of personalities, whereas these are sort of quite similar. And to me, I wouldn't see any benefit in having multiple ones of them in my collection. So that's pretty much it, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace.